Hello guys, welcome to part 9 of the Metasploit Mega Primer. Now in this video, we will look at privilege escalation in the post-exploitation phase. Right? So if you remember, this is the second phase of post-exploitation. So what is privilege escalation? Well, it may have happened that the exploit you used to break into the remote system uh, was that of a less privileged user because of which you are not able to actually go ahead and do a lot of tasks which maybe only the system user or the admin user is allowed to do right so privilege escalation is typically done by either using some sort of a local privilege escalation exploit there are a number of these exploits for various platforms including windows uh, you know, different flavors of Linux, Solaris, and whatnot. Uh, in this specific example, we'll use the uh, KiTrap OD program, or the exploit, sorry. The other possible way is to use impersonation tokens with things like incognito. We've had a look at this in previous videos. Last but not the least would be to use some sort of a social engineering uh, hack using kits like the SCT. Right, so we'll just cover number one and number two right now in this video SCT we'll look at in a later video okay so let me go to the demo so let's type in the URL and this goes ahead and handles the rest this is a browser based exploitation which I have done so in the background, uh, you would actually notice that Metapreter is just about to be launched and I think it is launched already. You can look at the available sessions. I have one here. So let's go ahead and connect to that session. Great. So the good news here is that we've broken into the administrator account uh, but what we might want to do is escalate our privileges to system. Now one of the things we can first try is actually look at the uh, different tokens we have access to. Right, so if you notice, it's the hyphen u command. that we are not able to get uh, any more information from the system which is the delegation tokens available are only for the user ID we've broken into. So now what we'll do is we'll use a well-known vulnerability to escalate our privileges. Right, so we'll run the metapreter script called KiTrap OD right, which actually exploits a vulnerability in the Windows kernel. Let's go ahead, run this script. Awesome, so now if you notice, we've got system privileges, right? So anything we do right now is going to be using the system privileges. Now, if we just go back and list the tokens we have access to now, you'll notice we have access to almost all the uh, tokens which exist on the current system, including administrator, system, network service, and whatnot, right? So this is a simple example of how a privilege escalation attack can be launched on a Windows system. Going back to the presentation, in this case, we went ahead and used a local privilege escalation attack. Now, what one could also do, as we've shown in previous demos, is use various delegation tokens and assume different users, uh, impersonate different users on the system and run tasks on their behalf. Uh, if you've forgotten, please visit the video in which I talk about the incognito extension and uh, the basics of impersonation and token stealing, right? So that's all for this video, very short one. Uh, I think this is probably the shortest video. But I want to go ahead and dedicate single videos to the various post-exploitation stages. Now, one of the exercises which you can try is breaking into other systems and figuring out how to use local privilege exploitation flaws 
to escalate your privilege. A lot of times you might not have available metapreter support in the sense available exploits for local privilege escalation shipping with metasploit by default. In that case, you may have to download exploit code from Millworm or from exploit DB and compile it and run it on those remote systems, right? Well, that's all for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will be looking at going ahead and uh, killing different monitoring software like AVs and also how to delete your logs once you've broken into a system. Okay, like always, please leave your comments behind. That is what keeps me going. So please let me know what you think about this video and what are the other things you would want me to cover. Thank you. Have a great day.